Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while since I posted a video. My NBA life is a little bit crazy, so I still need to figure out what's the frequency at which I'm going to be uploading these videos. But don't worry, I will still continue the channel. Today, I'm going to talk about production engineering books everyone must get, or petroleum engineers must consider. Before we get to the content, please be sure to like this video. Subscribe so you can get more content in oil and gas and professional development topics. And please be sure to comment on the video below so I can incorporate your feedback into future videos. Please be sure to hit that notification bell because I upload whenever I want. Well, let's get to the content. The first book I'm going to talk about is Petroleum or Production and Petroleum Systems. This is the ultimate production engineering book that I suggest everyone to get. This book covers a lot of fundamentals in production engineering, your inflow outflow curves, the intersection between those two. And essentially this book helped me through my production engineering classes, the Vogel's equation, you name it. I strongly suggest you get this book because you may or may not have been required to get this book whenever you had to take your production engineering classes but I still use this book even to this day. Looks a little bit pristine because I like to keep my books pristine, but I promise you I tend to flip through the pages of this book. So I strongly suggest you get the Petroleum Production Systems book. The next book I suggest everyone to get is the Production and Operations Engineering Handbook. I had to use this handbook whenever I was studying for the PE exam, for example, and I, you notice that I tabbed a ton of things in this production operations book. Again, this is another pristine book. I like to keep my books pristine, but I can guarantee you that I do flip through these from time and time again, especially when I had my production engineering job when I first worked right out of school. I looked through this book to learn some of the fundamentals in workovers and in studying for the PE exam. And even when I get asked by production engineers and I hear a lot of their terminology, I just need to look up in the book just to figure out what exactly are they talking about. So I strongly suggest you get this production operations engineering handbook. And I also suggest you get the entire seven volume, the seven book volume set for the petroleum engineering handbooks. Did I mention that my husband ended up getting that for free because he graduated first in college? This may or may not be a bragging moment for bragging about my husband, but he definitely did that. But you can guarantee that I was jealous of him because I had to buy my production engineering or my petroleum engineering handbooks compared to him. But nonetheless, I'm proud. The last book I suggest everyone to get is the Beam Lift Handbook. When I took my artificial lift in production optimization, technical elective at the University of Texas, I had to live and die by the beam lift handbook. This helps you learn about anything and everything rod pumps, especially when you're going to be a worksite supervisor or a company man on location and going to be pulling rods for a rod pump well. I strongly suggest you get this book to learn some of the fundamentals of production engineering and learn some of the fundamentals of beam pumps and rod pumps. Because although this technology has not changed as much for the past hundred years, you still need to understand where your fundamentals are coming from. So I strongly suggest you get this production engineering book and it will serve you really well in the future. And that's a wrap everyone. This is a short and sweet video of the production engineering books I suggest petroleum engineers should get. As usual, please be sure to like this video. Subscribe so you can get more content in oil and gas and professional development topics. And please be sure to comment on the video below so I can incorporate your feedback into future videos. I will be uploading videos from time and time again, but I still need to figure out my MBA schedule as I need to prioritize that first. And there are a lot of changes happening in my life that I won't go into detail right now. Well, folks, thanks so much for liking, subscribing, watching the video, and I'll see you in the next one.